Okay, what we're going to do in this video is that we're going to use a normal approximation for Poisson distribution. It says a random variable x has the following distribution, x is Poisson 70. Using a normal approximation, find the probability that x is greater than 80, or b, the probability that x is less than or equal to 6, sorry, greater than or equal to 65, but less than 80. Right, let's have a look at this uh, in GeoGebra first of all. If we've got a Poisson distribution, here I have a Poisson 70, and because 70 is very large, it then, then it involves a lot of calculations using uh, the calculator. If we click here, we can get a normal uh, distribution. Okay, now the one parameter of a Poisson distribution is lambda, which is the mean. Okay, so that becomes the mean of the normal distribution. And also the variance is also lambda. Now I'll write it like the square root of lambda squared, because when we do the standardization bit to use the normal tables, okay? So a Poisson 70 can be approximated by a normal 70, mean 70, and variance square root of 70 squared. Now, if this sort of works, if uh, lambda is very large. Look, it looks more and more normal as we go further up here, and perhaps not quite so normal as we go down this end of the of of the scheme. So, what what do we need is to have is to need what we need is to have uh, this uh, lambda very large to be able to use a normal distribution, right? This uh, GeoGebra app, look, I will be putting in the notes of the video, the link to it. Okay, so going back to the press question, it says, if the mean lambda of the Poisson distribution is large, then a normal uh, approximation can be used. If X is Poisson lambda, and lambda is large, then lambda uh, x can be normally distributed with a mean of lambda and a variance of square root of lambda squared. It seems a bit silly to take the square root and square it, but when we standardize uh, the uh, for the normal curve, we need to use the square root of lambda. That's why we write it like that. So don't forget the two parameters of the normal distribution are the mean and the variance. So we have x plus on 70, so our normal distribution will have to be 70, mean of 70, and a variance of square root of 70 squared. Better to write it, uh, the variance, like this. So we've got the probability that x is greater than 80. Again, we have to do a continuity uh, correction. So we have to do the probability that x is greater than 80.5, applying a continuity correction. So using the standard normal tables, Z uh, is normally distributed with a mean of zero and variance or standard deviation of one, and then using the standardization of X minus mean divided by the standard deviation, then we get the probability that Z is greater than 80.5 minus 70 divided by the square root of 70, and this is why we will write the square root of 70 here. That gives me the probability that Z must be greater than 1.254. Just write that out again. Now I like to use a graph. So 1.254, somewhere over here. We want more than, so we're going to have to do 1 minus phi. This means look up at the tables. 1.254. So we're going to look up Z is equal to 1.25 in the tables. And it's going to give me 1 minus 0 0.8944, which gives me a probability of 0 0.1056, which is a probability of 0 0.1062, three significant figures. Now, we can go to GeoGebra and view the probability calculator. So using the probability calculator, and don't forget you can add a normal uh, distribution here. Okay, and we have to use uh, a, a greater than 81 for the continuity correction on here. But that is 80.5. Okay, so it's all these probabilities and we get an answer of 1.0723 significant figures. So using the probability calculator in GeoGebra. Okay, and there we get uh, 0 0.107.
So it's a fairly good approximation. Right, the second one, the probability that x is between 65 and 80, we get the probability that x is bigger than 64.5, using the continuity correction for that, and the continuity correction for that is less than 80, we have to use 79.5. OK, then so using the standard normal tables with Z being equal to, uh, belong to uh, normal distributed with mean of 0 and variance of 1, and Z is X minus the mean divided by lambda, we get that X is normally distributed with a mean of 70 and the square root of 70 squared. So we apply this to each of these probability, each of these probabilities, to so do 64.5 minus 70 over the square root of 70, it said it's greater than that, but less than 79.5 minus 70 divided by the square root of 70. That gives me minus 0 0.657. That is greater than and less than 1.35. So drawing a graph, you don't have to draw a graph, but I'd like to draw the graph, so it doesn't take long to do. 0 0.6 uh, we'll have to look up there, and 1.14. So we're going to have to do this area here minus this area here, but this area here using the tables, if we only have positive values, is going to be 1 minus the phi of 0 0.657. So we look at those two values in the table, and we're going to get 0 0.8729 minus 1 plus 0 0.7454. We're doing 1 minus here because we have to flip this over and uh, do the thing in reverse because we only have positive values for our table. That gives me 0 0.618, which gives me 0 0.618 to three significant figures. Now, if we do our G algebra, and we'll have to set our G algebra to 65 and 79. So set this, uh, so we do that one, and then we set to 65 and 79, because we don't want to include 90. We get, uh, we will get an answer of 0 0.612. So again, it's a reasonable approximation. So using the probability calculator in GeoGebra, we get that, and we take that, and we get an answer of 0 0.612. However, the question says use the normal approximation. You cannot use any sort of technology like this or any sort of value in your calculator. You have to use the tables at this level in this exam. Okay, I hope this has been a video to show you how to introduce the Poisson distribution, doing a normal approximation to the Poisson distribution. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching. The initial GeoGebra app link will be found in the notes of this video. Thank you very much.